We got a bunch of shit going out today. Let's get into it. Supreme waist bag. Win like 82 11. Win like 96 11. Dead stock maroon 6s. Dead stock 4Ds. Super Moon 500s. Aqua 8s. UNC 11 lows. Dead stock bread toes. UNC 6s. Dead stock turbo greens. Dead stock turbo greens. Dead stock turbo greens. Turbo greens. New Love 1s, Air Max 98, International 5s, another pair of UNC 11 Lows, Cool Gray 11s, Master 12s, Alternate 4s, and International 3s. So I gotta get all this shit packaged up and into the post office, so let's get to it. So we also got a fucking Nike package in today. Got some orders going out as well. I'm gonna set up the camera and get this bitch open and show you guys what's inside. As you can see, got a Jordan Jumpman logo on top. These are, well, should be the Travis Scott 33. Super dope ass box. You got engineered for flight right there. Engineered for flight on the side. And again on this side, engineered for flight. It's a really clean box. I'm really fucking with the box. Shit. Super good quality from Jordan. And you open it up, you have some like shiny ass fucking paper it says AJ31 or whatever it is and then you have this card I guess it shows you how to lace the shoe right on the back and then you have the motherfucking okay what the fuck happened there? you have the shoe um super ugly fucking shoe definitely will not rock obviously just copped it for resale made a quick $30 fucking just put them on StockX got 233 I believe it was from retail 200 I believe um yeah nothing really crazy about this shoe it says pull to eject I would not buy this shoe to even play basketball it in you got the fucking cactus jack up here Nike Air on the back yeah and that's really it nothing too special gotta get these bitches shipped out today um the other one same thing, except on the other tongue, you have a jump man, and then you got an orange pull tab. This one is yellow. So let's get this shit packaged up, and we gotta head to the fucking post office. As I was packaging these fucking turbos, I noticed that this grade school size doesn't have that stupid ass lettering on it, and the suede just looks more age on it compared to the men's sizing. I mean, this shit looks 10 times better than that. That's just my opinion. I don't know, this definitely, I don't know. This shit looks so much fucking better. Just look at that shit. Shit is crazy. Get the post. What is R going out? A few moments later. I'm in Play-Dohs right now. I just found a fucking shark hoodie. Reversible at that. All embroidered on the inside. Screen printed on this side. I'm pretty sure it's legit too. I mean, it feels, it feels like a real shark hoodie. That shit got some weight to it. They want... 35 for it. I don't know where the fuck the tag is at. I had trouble finding it the first time. Somewhere in there. They want 35 for it. Definitely, definitely picking this bitch up. Found a tag so you know I'm not fucking lying. This shit, I'm pretty sure 100% legit. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's no flaws in any of the stitching or anything like that. Definitely picking it up. I also picked up some Yin Yang ones and then also some gold medal fives. Got both of them for 60. Insane steel. Two hours later. So just found these acronym Prestos. $100. Definitely scooping these bitches up. So this is all what I ended up picking up yesterday. Let's get into it right quick. Picked up these creams for 90 fucking dollars. Decent condition. No heel drag really. I just think I'm fucking master negotiator. Then we got some Gatorade 6s. Acronym Prestos from Plato's for the 100 piece. Pure Money 4s. Some Vapor Maxes. Gold Metal 5s. Some Cyber Monday 1s. But then the biggest pluck of the day was this Bay Putty. Picked it up from Plato's 100% authentic for $30 fucking $5. That's a $300 flip. Let's see what we can find today. 